the Gatekeepers TV as usual. We are your favorite duos at Dennis Keton. Emoli Edwin. And we are here to continue with uh, our World Cup, special World Cup episode or series as you might want to refer to it. So, uh, still we are in this. So now the second match on Wednesday, World Cup, will be between two teams, of course. One of the teams has been vouched as one of the favorites to win this tournament this season. So this is Germany versus Japan. So before we continue, Pogba, can you do to us the usual? Germany against Japan. Germany uh, is a country whose capital is Berlin. Berlin. Uh, they are now facing Japan whose capital is Tokyo. Tokyo. Now these two teams will be meeting at Khalifa International Stadium. As you can see. Definitely. So Khalifa International Stadium. Uh, the coach of this game will be, not coach, the referee, referee. The center referee of this game will be a guy by the name of Ivan Barton, all the way from El Salvador. El Salvador. Mm. Ah. El Salvador. El Salvador. Um, the coach for Germany, of course, we all know him. Hansi Flick. Mr. Hansi Flick, the man with the man in the mirror. They call him the man in the mirror. You can see him on your screen, man. Mm. The coach for Japan will be a guy by the name of Hajime Moriyasu. Hajime Moriyasu. Moriyasu. <laughs> Moriyasu. And uh, <clears throat> heading into this game, we have a, a couple of some injuries. Ah, okay. Where we have uh, Leroy Sane has a knee injury, but the, kind of minor. Yeah, there are chances he might play. Uh, Marcos Rios also, I believe. Uh -huh. Then we have uh, mm -hmm. a guy by the name of Kaoru Mitoma <laughs> from Japan. Mitoma. Mm. Oh, Mark God. Andre Terstegen. Terstegen, yeah, Terstegen has some slight injury. Stomach problems. Yeah. Just, oh, the stomach. Oh, stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. So Get just well. by by anyway. So those are the injuries, minor injuries. Minor injuries, yeah. <clears throat> So guys, uh, German, Germany, they are of course the powerhouse. They have won these World Cups uh, like four times. So clearly these are people who have the history and actually they have the capability to do this. So um, as Hansi Flick prepares his team to face Japan, these two teams have not met, as, uh, they have not met that much because I, as I recall, they have only met, I believe, like twice, sometimes in 202 and in 204. Uh, in one of the instances they drew, then also then in the other instance the match ended 2-1, so in favor of Germany. So clearly we don't have a lot of statistics on this match, but we can only talk on what we know currently. So uh, Germany, Germany in the last eight games, these guys they don't keep clean sheets. They are your new Manchester United. They don't keep clean sheets, so they have been conceding, though they are. Their power is vested in outscoring other teams. If they find you in a bad state, they will outscore you. Not to mention that they are they are unbeaten. They can't they can be beaten. In the UEFA Nations League, these guys they have lost to Hungary. Remember the Hungry Hungarians? They have lost from Euros. From Euros. So this is now in the Nations League. So uh, they have lost to uh, to Hungary and. Uh, at home and away, they have lost once and drawn once in the same same group with uh, Hungary. <clears throat> but that's not to mention that you need to undermine Germany. They call themselves the German machine for a reason. They play a flake type of football, a, a flowing football, a flawless type of game. So you just have to be keen about these guys. Japan, on the other side, is a team, of course, with talents, definitely. Uh, key names which we know as uh, somebody like, like Takimu, like Takehiro. Uh, ta take Tomiyasu. <laughs> Tomiyasu, exactly. Uh, from Arsenal. Takumi Minamino. Takumi, yeah, th such names. Eh? Mm. Then, of course, uh, this this guy who had a slight injury, he's called Ma Moto. Uh, he's called what? The, the, the guy who had uh, that name. Hiro Mitoma. Mitoma. Mitoma from Brighton. But I hope Mitoma will be fit to play because this guy is always impressive. He knows how to maneuver around. So if you, this is a match whereby um, Germany, Pogba, mm -hmm. you're vested in this. Talk to us. How 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 are the li uh, probable lineup and maybe what's the type of formation that which Hansi Flick always embraces most of the time? Just Hansi Flick football. Four, two, three, one. 
Uh, Nua at the post. Oh, yeah. um, now that Tastegin is out, so Nua. Nua, just, the main man. Just tell me Rudiger will be at the centre back. Of course, Antonio Rudiger alongside Nicolas Sule. Sule, ah, mm. Bayan. So David Raum and uh, Thilo Kahere, Kele. Kela. Yes. Kela. Mm. That's how it's pronounced mm. in German. Mm. Mm. So Joshua Kimmich in the middle. Mm. Now that's where the problems begin. Okay. Joshua Kimmich mm-hmm. alongside Goretzka. Goretzka. Mm. Going forward, Serge Gnabry. <laughs> Jamal Musiala. <laughs> A very young, impressive player by the way. I think he's 18 years old, very talented young man. He has a future. Mm -hmm. And Leroy Sane. Leroy Sane. Now the man, the man, one man in front, a guy by the name of Mr. Kai. Kai Havertz. It is what it is. I've not even heard you talk about Thomas Muller. Thomas Thomas Muller had had an injury, but he's back. He's back. So Germany, Germany just has crazy, crazy players. Sule. It has immense players and talents, which clearly Ogopa, Ogopa Germany. So, um, and Japan. Japan, what formation do they play? Japan, they play, uh, it's a funny one, 4-1-4-1. 4 one 4 one Yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that's a crazy one. Before. Four defenders, we have one midfielder, another four, four forward plus one ahead. Mm-hmm. So, um, Mr. Yashida. Uh, Sakai, Tomiyasu, and Nagamoto will be uh, will be collaborating with the defense. Backline, yeah. Mm, with Mr. Gonda as the, the goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. Then Wataru Endo, mm-hmm. the one middle guy. I don't know what they're trying to do, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Takumi Minamino, Tanaka, Akutagawa. <laughs> Atagawa. Atagawa. Junior Ito and Takuma Asano. Ay! Ta- <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> so... That's the Japan squad. <laughs> Actually, by the way, stop laughing because this guy by the name of Ta- Asano, <laughs> Asano will be leading the attack of the Japan squad. So, yeah. So, guys, those are the probable lineup which maybe we think might be uh, playing tonight. But as we told you, this is a match which is uh, neither here or there because uh, right now this is World Cup. World Cup has officially commenced, which means don't underestimate any team. Everybody is coming to fight for the title. So um, this is a match whereby I feel like Germany needs not to underestimate anyone because they have seen already what is happening in this World Cup. You can be pr- frustrated by anyone if you don't plan yourself well. So um, <clears throat> I feel like uh, in this match, uh, Germany will be utilizing especially their power in front. They have a good midfield and a good wing backs uh, who can actually terrorize you at any particular time. You see people like uh, Serge Gnabry, people like Leroy Sane, these are people who can outrun you any particular time. Musiala is a very young, creative and very witty player who can always perform best. Then Kai Havertz, we all know what he does in Germany. He scores more, mostly in Germany more than he scores in Chelsea. But this, this is a very technical team which we wish them all the best. So, straight to it Pogba, mm-hmm. uh, what are your prediction on this game? Why do I feel like Germany will start at a very slow pace? Uh, they might be by, beaten by Japan, mm. but I believe Germany will play good football. But uh, ja- uh, Japan, to be honest, Japan going into this match as underdogs, mm-hmm. in quotes. Of course. Um, I feel like ja- ja- Germany won't have an easy time. Mm. Although I'm looking for one-one draw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one-one. one-one. Mm, a very shocking one one group. I think before I make this prediction, I want to apologize on behalf of the entire Saudi Arabia community. Yesterday I predicted that you might lose by seven goals to nil. Clearly, but don't blame me. I was just banking on your previous worst history, mm. considering you've been beaten eight and five mm. pre- before. But I'm sorry. Apologies. I hope you accept it. Yeah? But having, if I can borrow from that tonight's match, whereby we have an underdog and, of course, a superpower. I feel like, once again, uh, on this, I know it's going to be tricky, but still I'm going with the German machine to win, though not with many goals. I Because they, they are not lovers of keeping clean sheets, they will concede, mm. but they will score two goals. So give it 2-1 in favor of uh, Germany to win, because clearly they are in a very, very, very tricky group. Tricky group? That group has, uh, it has Costa Rica in it, and it, it also has Spain in it. So uh-huh. they really need to win this first match. But trust you me, there are surprises coming. Surprises are loading, right? Today. It might be today's surprise. No, every day comes with 
it's all surprise. Uh -huh. mm. So I think, guys, that's it for for that for this episode for that game. So keep it here, keep it the gatekeepers. We are here for you. So subscribe, share, comment. Let's make Wildcraft an exciting moment.